Hi, my name's Greg. This is my 25 foot Catalina, and we are going to be stepping the mast on this today. Uh, we're going to use an A frame and a couple other things that I've developed to help get the mast up easy. This does have a roller furler, so it's a little different than any of the other YouTube videos up there. Let's hope this helps somebody try to figure out how to do this because I didn't know how to do it before. Okay, so we've got uh, Lutz family here. They're going to be helping me, and my wife and kid are still uh, at the uh, hotel room, so I've got all newbies here. We'll see how this goes. We've got to get this uh, everything untangled. It's a mess up there and stuff strapped together. So let's get up on the boat and we're going to start unstrapping anything that's holding the mast uh, cables and such in place. Go around here, this little ladder I built. You'll see some blocks of wood or, and straps. Just start bringing all that stuff down, okay? Remember to be careful when you're walking around up there. Matt, what I'm gonna have you do. Yeah. Just get, get off the phone, undo that A-frame with the come along on it that's underneath the boat. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then bring that and just kind of set it on the ground but have it open and available. Okay, how's everything looking now? Is it all becoming undone? Yeah. Here's my little mast support block right here, as you can see. It supports the mast in transit. We're going to take this mast and we're going to slide it backwards uh, a bit till we get the um, base of the mast in this mast bolt area. I don't know what the these things are. Remember before you attach your mast that you have put your wind indicator on the tip of your mast. Otherwise you'll have to undo this whole process. We caught it early just to know. Um, what it is is that it's gonna, it's gonna taper. We're almost there. I think we're there now. We're there now. Here's my uh, one of my devices I have here and it is a, uh, a mast crutch that's on a come along that telescopes right here so you can actually get this mast started up. Well, we just keep going? Yes. Yeah, keep going. Okay, so Matt's cranking on the uh, come along there. It's raising our mast up. There's so much friction in there. Are right, you just bringing more friction to the situation? And then you just kind of get it lined up in that slot. See what we got there? Yeah. Okay, crank higher then. Me? Yeah. Okay. okay, you can set that down in the slot now. Not super tight. here which runs up to my a-frame that we've just put in position and now we'll take the um, the main halyard that red rope and we'll bring the um, and bring it up here to use I'm sure it goes it takes a good path through here so that's exactly as it's gonna sit when the boat's out so he's actually coming through this way see how I can do this that down Okay, then we'll bring this up. We need to extend that cable now so that it comes into this loop.
Okay, so at this point, we just were able to pull that forward and put the uh, pin in the front of the roller further, and we're done here now. Now what's left to do is to um, take the A-frame down and get those front stays attached to where the A-frame is attached. Yeah, everything's secure. Greg, can you undo the A-frame from the front Oh yeah, sure, I can do that. Okay. Hey. 